when I first thought about applying for the position, I guess there were a number of people, including my former principal, that said to me, are you sure you want to go down there? Are you sure you want to go to this particular school? And for me, that was the challenge that I was looking for. There was a lot of chaos. There wasn't admittedly a lot of visible leadership within the school. Uh, there wasn't a sense of pride amongst the school and the school community. We had a thing called the RTC, and the RTC was a room that you would send all the naughty kids to. Like, if you look at the data afterwards, like, you have some kids that were out in the RTC for three quarters of the term because they just get kicked out. Kids out of uniform, kids not listening in class, uh, perhaps admittedly some of the staff not being particularly interested in the lessons that they were teaching, but generally a lack of engagement with the place at all. There wasn't a good feel. Last year I didn't want to come because I didn't like a lot of the teachers, because, but I think it was just because of this lack of communication. We had a lot of absenteeism, a lot of truancy, um, you know, kids just not rocking up or not, not interested, and a really, really bad reputation. And it wasn't good for the staff, it wasn't good for the kids. Very hard place to work. Learning confidence here was so low that many students were seeing that, that it was pointless for them to actually continue with their education. To take the responsibility and say, this isn't working, as a school, we need to make a change here. How are we going to do that? have the courage to make the change. If you have a go and you try something new, you're going to learn from it no matter whether it works or it doesn't work. And if it works, great, you've, you know, you've got a new pathway to go down. If it doesn't work, then what are the things that we need to change about it to make it work? So what we ended up doing was taking a group of kids, asking them what did they want to see at school? What, what would school be like if it was awesome? What would it look like? What would it sound like? What would it feel like? And so from that we took a focus team of people and we started to work on a new way of doing stuff. I think it's really important for kids to, to go into a classroom feeling that they can achieve, that they can succeed and that there are different notions to what success actually means. And although, for example, we're a school where VCE results are also very important, we offer quite a number of different pathways and opportunities for kids to succeed uh, across a, a multitude of areas. In my view, it was also going to be around getting the basics right. So making sure that kids were in uniform, that they went to, went to class with the right equipment, that they turned up on time, that we actually cared and followed through on issues like attendance. And there's been significant improvement in all of those areas. And it sets up those those things that we might call the preconditions for learning, making sure that kids go to class with the right sort of attitude and positive approach that they can be successful. This school is about first and foremost relationships and this kind of learning here um, allows for us to build strong positive relationships with kids to get to know what their strengths and their weaknesses are as learners. It's really good like the working environment, students, teachers, having like it feels like you have family here that you can talk to and rely on so it's really open. And kids feeling that school's a powerful and positive place to be for them and that it has a real sort of resonance and meaning in their lives. It's like everyone, like everyone in Monterey, they all care about you. When I'm going through trouble and I'm upset, I'm able to go to my teachers and the counselling room and I just talk to them and they just help me out. Uh, this school is really about community and about heart um, and about a passion for learning now. We're getting to a point where they can see the benefits of being at school, where they can see um, how important it is to stay at school. It's about I can do it, I have potential, I can you know, achieve my dreams or I can do whatever it is that I want to do in life and nothing is going to stop me. Now that the foundations are in place, uh, I've seen a dramatic change in the children's faces. They, you know, they want to learn, they're here to learn. Students are now saying, oh, I've got the learning confidence to move forward with my studies and prepare for the world of further education and eventually work. Classes are places of real learning and sometimes that means noisy chatter, excited chatter, kids working together in teams, working collaboratively with other students, 
other year levels, their teachers to explore the potential of learning. When you're in a classroom, all eyes are on you. They're listening, they're engaged, they want to learn, and Monterey is the place to be. Been getting really good grades now, ever since I've like had that communication with teachers, had that chance to go communicate with students, and when everybody welcomes you into a classroom, it feels really open. It's the students, it's the kids that are at the heart of it, trying to do what's best for them, trying to get them to understand that they are worthy of you know, a good life and opportunity just like everybody else is. That's one of the amazing things about being in a school like this is that the possibilities are endless. We, there's so many good things that we could do to make positive change. Oh, look, I'd, I'd be pretty clear with you that I'm proud every day that I'm here. Monterey is a place where there's opportunity. There is opportunity for lots of things. And if you're someone who's looking for opportunity, then you've come to the right place, really.